What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a bit of a different video for you. I've personally binge watched these kind of review videos because when I was looking into using a menstrual cup I thought I would do some research and YouTube is really the best kind of research if I'm honest. So basically in this video I'm going to be talking about what a menstrual cup is, the product that I'm using, a bit about that product, my experiences and if I am converted. So for that 6.2% of males that watch my channel, feel free to keep watching but I don't think you'll enjoy it. A menstrual cup is basically like a little cup that you insert inside yourself instead of a tampon and it collects your blood. We're going to be hearing a lot of these kind of words so let's just get comfortable with each other. And it basically plays the role of a tampon or a pad. So I did heaps of research into menstrual cups and I decided on the brand Intamina. So Intamina sell something called the Lily Cup Compact and that is what I got. So this is what it looks like and it is collapsible so apparently it's the world's first collapsible cup. I think the rest of them just stay like this and they don't yeah fold down smaller so before I get into like how I used it and all that kind of juicy stuff I thought I would just touch on the reasons I decided to try a menstrual cup because there's a number of them number one earlier this year I decided to try to reduce my carbon footprint and my impact on the environment in a negative way and in doing so I was trying to reduce the amount of plastic I used and the amount of waste that I used so lots of my Tupperware like I swapped to glass and all that kind of stuff and a menstrual cup actually plays the role of 1625 tampons so that's a lot of waste that you are saving the world and you save so much money like I don't know about you chicks but I spend so much money on pads and tampons and I hate it like, I hate buying pads and tampons. I'm like, this is so dumb. It's a necessity. I don't know why I have to buy this. And without getting too TMI, which I don't really care about because... I'm an oversharer anyway. For me personally, I hate taking out a tampon and putting in a new one. My sister's a midwife and I was talking to her about this and she was like, that's not really normal, but whatever. I hate putting the second tampon of the day in or the third or whatever because I find that sometimes I get like irritation or it's really hard to put in there and it's just like I dread having to take a tampon out and put a new one in. So when I get into the details of this, you'll realize you don't really have that problem with this sucker. All right, let's discuss the Lily Cup Compact. So it's just this little cup that you insert inside your vagina. So it's got these little rims here that just fold into each other and it collapses into this little like slinky kind of thing. And it also comes with this protective case, which I thought is super cute. And I like that this was made of medical grade silicone. It's super, super soft. Like I've seen some reviews where they're really hard and that scared me. Like I don't want to shove like a hard piece of plastic up myself. And when I was researching about it, I actually found out that it was helped designed by gynecologists which is great. And I'm a very busy person. Like I don't have time to be going to the bathroom and changing my tampon every couple of hours. So you can leave this in your body for up to 10 hours, which is the whole day. So these cups are for light to medium flows. If you do have a heavier flow and a wide set vagina, I hope someone got my Mean Girls quote then. Can't help it if I've got a heavy flow and a wide set vagina. They do sell larger sizes. On the topic of sizes, they do sell two different sizes. This is the Lily Cup A and this is the Lily Cup B. So I use the light pink one, which is size A, and the dark pink one is if you've had kids or yet yeah, gone through childbirth, which says he hasn't. Single as a Pringle, gals. Let's get into my experience. The day that I got my period, I was like, woo, like let's get this thing out of the box, let's get this going. And I sat on the toilet and I was like sweating. I was so nervous. That is bigger than a tampon. Like how am I gonna shove that inside me? I feel like it was like getting my period for the first time again. I remember when I was like, whatever, 14, sitting on the toilet reading the tampon information sheet over and over and over again. That's pretty much what I did with this bad boy. I was so, so shocked at how easy it was to put in. I was expecting it to be like really uncomfortable or really hard to get it up there. So basically how I did it and how they tell you to do it is you just push in the top rim there and then you squish it together. So I made sure it sort of had that pointy effect and I slid it up there. I feel like I'm making this more graphic than it has to be, but whatever. <laughs> and you need to make sure that it pops open inside yourself so that it doesn't leak. So this rim part is supposed to pop open and that's what stops it leaking. So basically what you have to do is shove your finger up there as well and make sure your finger goes around the rim to ensure that it's popped open. I don't really think I did a very good job of that the first time because I was like scared and I felt like I was like mutilating myself so I just sort of shoved it up there and 
hope for the best. And again, this could be a little TMI, but I tried to use like my Kegel muscles to like suck it up there more to make sure it didn't fall out. And I actually feel like that helped. So every time I put it in, that's what I do. I don't know. I'm weird. So the first day I left it like that and I found that every time I would go to the bathroom I could sort of feel a part of the stem like hanging out of me a little bit. So I didn't really stress too much. It wasn't uncomfortable. It was just when I went to the bathroom I could feel it. So then when I came home and took it out and washed it and all that I cut the stem because they say that you can cut it up to this last little rim. So I cut the stem and then every other time I put it up there I couldn't feel it. I experienced no leakage whatsoever but in saying that I did have a really really light period. My period sort of goes in a cycle. One month my period is light, the next month it's heavy. So it goes light, heavy, light, heavy. But for the sake of the video and making a review I wanted to take it out in a public bathroom and have to deal with it like that so I can give you a review if you have to do that and it was super easy like I was just in the cubicle I took it out I brought a water bottle in with me and I sort of rinsed it with the water bottle put that down the toilet and then I wiped it with some toilet paper don't know if that's very sanitary probably not but anyway and then I shoved it straight back up oh and I did my day-to-day -day activities in it like I went to the gym one thing I was scared about which I haven't proper researched yet but I asked my sister I go upside down a lot in my life like I'm always doing handstands and yoga inversions and I was convinced that like I would go upside down and the blood would be in the cup and when I went upside down it would like go back into my stomach because like a tampon absorbs it and my sister's a midwife and she's like you're an idiot don't worry anyway I still feel a bit weird when I go upside down but I can't feel anything I went to the gym I went hardcore it was super comfortable actually more comfortable than a tampon because sometimes I feel like when I go to the gym with a tampon and I go really 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 hard I can sort of like feel it by the end so am I converted Yes, I am. I'm definitely converted because number one, I'm going to save so much money because this was only $39.95 US dollars. Oh, and if you use my code, I'll put my code here, LC Sarah, you can get free shipping as well. And I'll put the link in the description bar as well, but you can just click and purchase yours if you want to. So I'm going to save so much money not having to buy tampons and pads and stuff like that less irritation and less chemicals going into my body and I'm not polluting the environment which like I said was a New Year's resolution of mine so I'll definitely keep using it and I'm really excited to use it for my next period because that will be heavier so hopefully I can like build up more and empty it and I think that will be really cool is that gross that I think that's cool Probably. I highly recommend the Intamina Lily Cup Compact. I'm so glad that I tried it out and I really hope this video helps you guys because I love them and I feel like reviews were the only thing that really helped me. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and subscribe because I put out new videos every three days. I will see you in my next video. Bye.